hello everyone welcome back to another lesson to doing this channel i'm sorry i couldn't make a tutorial for two weeks or three weeks i guess i was really busy but finally it's sunday and i learned something new and i want to share it with you guys so today what we are going to do is do complex forms there isn't a proper documentation for complex uh, forms in the u2 uh, documentation so I thought of giving something out so if you go to create companies for example imagine that you want to create a company plus create a branch on the same form as well for example that will allow us to create add the company details and add the branch details on the same form and submit it which will then submit the when then will create the company plus the branch I thought uh, this was this is kind of really important uh, important in a, in a sense you would want to do this in uh, most of the complex application that you will develop so let's get into it so I'm in the company's create section uh, so let's go to the back end views and companies this is where I am right at right now so let me open up the company's controller so what we need to do is first we need create um, we need to create uh, a particular model uh, I, I mean object of the branches model so let's put branches let's put branch equals new branch so don't forget to use it so copy this and again paste with branches okay so now uh, right here we have created the branch object now what next to do is we have to sub pass that branch object to the cre create view file so let me do that okay so save and let's go to the create and again here we want to pass the pa object there, the branch object to the form view file so from render let's name it branch and let's get the branch object and pass it now now here now we can access the branch object from with this form okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, put some and put a commit in create branch for this company okay small comment just to know okay so next thing let's go to the branches directory crud and get the form so again let's copy this all of the elements that you want and paste it in this section so the next thing we have to do is uh, actually since now we are creating the company at the top and we don't want to create um, a select company again so actually we don't want this drop down so let's get rid of that and the next thing is since uh, we have to use the not the model object but the branch object so that is that now let's go and refresh the page and check out what we have okay now we have the branch and the branch name branch address and the status now let's we have to do some editing in the controller create of company controller create section so what we do here is we get all the we auto load the properties in the form to the model object this is this represents the company object we have to do the same for the branch so let's take a copy of this and paste and let's change this to branch okay now that will auto assign the values that we put in here to the branch object attributes next thing is of course uh, once we we need a company ID in order to save the branch for example if you go to the database and check um, you will see a company ID in the branch section so open up this and this okay so company's company id is there in the branch table so all these values will be assigned uh but not this and this so we have to assign those so get the branch object and companies 
company ID will be the model company's co company ID I think okay company ID company ID and the branch of course the date uh, uh, date create branch created date is going to be branch branch created date is of course let's put that in there and I think that's it and finally we have to save the branch branch save that's it uh, let's check it out and let's check what we have okay so company name is I don't know uh, let's say ABC D okay company name is a ABC at gmail come and company address some address I am not going to bother with a logo so company status let's put it to active and the branch name is Colombo and the address somewhere in Colombo okay so let's put active and let's check okay we have the two tables so we should get a value here for the company and we should get a branch there as well so let's save and check it out okay save as on a non object so actually that means uh, we have that's big this is because of the upload file so what I'm going to do is let's just put if um, um, okay let's copy this and let's put it inside if loop if statement just checking if it is set then do it if it not it is not empty model file then do it if it is empty just forget about it I am not sure did I make it uh, required in the company dot PHP file where is it backend company where is it actually? Just go to the models and there is companies. Okay, companies. Okay. Did I make the logo required? No. Okay, so let's put that in if statement and do that. So let's, I am going to click on F5 so it will ask to resubmit and we have it. Okay, so the company should be ABCD. Uh, we have a b c d as well and we should have a branch called colombo okay somewhere in colombo okay that there you go that's this is the this is complex forms and that's the way you to do it um i hope you guys enjoy the lesson stay tuned for more and please subscribe and thank you guys for subscribing and girls of course and stay tuned for more have a good day take care bye